It was about 10 o'clock at night when a young man was walking down a deserted street in a small town in Japan. Suddenly, a girl appeared in front of him. The young man looked around and did not understand where the girl came from. Half of the girl's face is covered by a mask. The girl is standing in front of the young man. The young man is looking at the girl with a very frightened look. At that moment, the girl said to the young man, Do I look beautiful? The young man looked into the girl's magical eyes and said, Yes, you are so beautiful. The girl took off her face mask. Immediately, the young man awoke with a frightened scream. The two sides of the girl's lips were cut short as if someone had caught them with a sharp knife. As the young man tried to escape, the girl attacked on him. He cut the young man's face with a sharp scissors, just as the girl's face had been cut. Due to excessive bleeding, the young man died on the spot. The next day, there was a lot of noise about the body. The police came and they started an investigation like them. Within a few days, several more bodies were found. They have been killed in the same way. In Japan, then everyone knew about this murder. Everyone stopped sending their children to school. Even don't let them go up to the playground. The only thing on everyone's mind then was the fear for the girl wearing the mask. Police may know from various people that the girl was walking on a deserted street wearing a mask and many saw a sharp knife in her hand. After that, the police may know a matter so that they are absolutely stunned. The girl is not really a human, she is a soul. About 800 years ago, a girl named Kukcha Sekiona lived in a small village in Japan. Everyone in the village knew the girl for her beauty. Kukcha Sekiona's beauty was practiced by everyone in the village. Everyone believed that Kukcha Sekiona was the most beautiful girl in the village. Kukcha Sekiona was very proud of her beauty. She used to question everyone in the village. Do I look beautiful? And everyone answered, yes. Kukcha Sekiona would have liked to hear this, yes. Kukcha Sekiona is married to a warrior. A few days. After the wedding, Kukcha Sekiona's husband left to join a war. Coming many days after the war, he was absolutely stunned. He sees his wife in an abusive situation with a stranger. The stranger fled the scene. Kukcha Sekiona's husband chases after the man grabs him and asks, didn't you find any other girl in this village to do all this? Why, with my wife? Your wife is the most beautiful woman in the village, and her beauty attracts everyone. And I also made a mistake in this attraction. Kucha Sekiona's husband realizes that his wife's beauty is responsible for this. He then leaves. Upon entering his home, Kucha Sekiona is attacked by her husband. With a large sword in his hand, he cut off both sides of Kucha Sekiona's lips, holding a mirror in front of her and asking, Do you look beautiful now? She died there due to excessive bleeding.
This is where the story of Kukcha Sekiona could have ended. But around 1910, Kukcha Sekiona's soul was seen on a deserted street in Japan. Kukcha Sekiona was a name of fear and terror to the people of Japan at that time. Whenever anyone met her, he would ask a question. Do I look beautiful? If the answer is no, then Kukcha Sekiona will kill you without thinking. If the answer is yes, then Kukcha Sekiona will take off her mask and ask again. Do I look beautiful now? If the answer is no, then Kukcha Sekiona will kill you. If the answer is yes, however, Kukcha Sekiona will cut both sides of the lip, just like her, with a sharp scissors, which will result in death due to excessive bleeding.